Hello Matrix and welcome to our series of videos on the perfect market. There are three different equil equilibrium positions in the short run, economic profit, normal profit and economic loss. In our previous lesson we examined the normal profit position and in today's lesson we will focus specifically on economic profit in the short run with an emphasis on an explanation of the economic profit, the drawing of the graph and a discussion thereof. So let's kick off today's lesson with an explanation of economic profit. Economic profit refers to the profit that is earned in addition to normal profit. Remember Matrix, in our previous lesson we examined normal profit and we now know that normal profit is the ideal in the perfect market and it occurs where total costs is equal to total revenue or when average costs are exactly the same as average revenue. When economic profit occurs, our total revenue will exceed our total costs and our average revenue will exceed our average costs. So the main difference between normal profit and economic profit is that with normal profit, our total revenue is equal to total costs and our average revenue is equal to average costs but with economic profit our total revenue will exceed our total costs and our average revenue will exceed our average costs. So let's go through the drawing of the graph which I will be doing slowly and taking you through it step by step. I like to start off by just drawing the skeleton of the graph so let me just fill that in, just fill in my axes there. So let's start off by inserting my heading. I'm dealing with economic profit, so I'm going to be putting in economic profit. Tick. Draw and label the vertical and horizontal axes. Fine, let's put that in. Price, costs and of course revenue and then of course quantity done draw and label the revenue curves I can certainly do that in lesson two you will remember that we established that the demand curve is equal to the average revenue curve which is also equal to our marginal revenue curve right so we've done that draw and label the average cost curve. Now, matrix, remember, we are dealing with economic profit. Economic profit occurs when our average revenue exceeds our average costs. So the way that we're graphically going to illustrate this is by drawing our average costs below our average revenue. We wanting to show that our average costs are below our average revenue. And in that way, an economic profit is, of course, graphically illustrated. So I'm going to draw in my average costs curve. Let me just label it. Tick. And then what I now need to do is I need to draw and label my marginal cost curve. And I mustn't forget that my marginal cost curve intersects the average cost curve at its lowest point. In other words, there, that looks like my lowest point. So I need to make sure that my marginal cost curve intersects round about there. So let me draw in my marginal cost curve. Label that. And that does look more or less dead center. So, tick. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate my profit maximization point. And that is, of course, where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So, let me indicate my marginal revenue and my marginal cost curve, which is, of course, there. Marginal cost, marginal revenue, where they intersect, that would be there. So, let me label that equilibrium. Okay, so that's my equilibrium point. Tick. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate my economic profit. So I now need to indicate my economic profit. So let me show you how to do this grade 12s. This is my equilibrium point. I now need to take this down to my average cost curve there, take it across, and this grade 12s will be my economic profit. I'm actually going to shade it in for you. So let me just 
do that. This area here is my economic profit. So that is my economic profit. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to illustrate my quantities and my price. So let me fold this in. Remember, these are not definitive figures. I'm assigning it completely fictitious figures. So let's make my quantity 10 and let's make my average revenue 50 Rand and my average costs 40 Rand. Grade 12s, we could also not assign figures. I prefer to work with figures, but you might want to assign it letters. So we could call this P1. And we could, of course, call this C. We could call this C and we could call this D. And then we can talk about um, letters as opposed to uh, working with figures. Okay, but that is, of course, entirely your choice. So I can definitely tick that one off. Let's just recap it all. Insert your heading, done. Draw and label your vertical and your horizontal costs, done. Draw and label the revenue curves, done. Draw the average cost curve, done. Draw and label the marginal cost curve, done. Indicate the profit maximization point. We know that that occurs with MC, intersects with MR, and then we, we definitely clearly illustrated our economic profit, which is highlighted in blue. So now we've dealt with the drawing of the graph and we're moving on to the explanation thereof. As I mentioned to you in the previous lesson, it's always a good idea to start off your explanation by defining the concept that you're dealing with. So economic profit refers to the profit that is earned in addition to normal profit. The equilibrium is formulated where marginal cost intersects with marginal revenue, which is at point E. In other words, that's my marginal cost curve. That's my marginal revenue curve. Where they intersect, that is at point E. At point E, my equilibrium price is 50 Rand. My OP1, my equilibrium quantity is 10 or Q1. The AC curve lies below the average revenue curve, which clearly indicates that a profit has been earned. Okay, so that's my average revenue curve, that's my average cost curve, and that clearly indicates that an economic profit has been earned. Now we're going to calculate the economic profit. There are two ways in which you can calculate the economic profit. You can decide which method works best for you. The first method that we're going to use is we're going to say total revenue minus total costs. In order to work out the total revenue, we're going to say average revenue times by our quantity. In other words, 50 Rand times by 10, which will give us 500 Rand. And then we're going to work out our total costs. So we're going to say 40 Rand times by 10, which will give us 400 Rand. And that means that an economic profit of 100 Rand has been earned. The second method that we can use is by saying our average revenue less our average costs. That figure multiplied by the quantity. So we're going to say 50 Rand, which is my average revenue, 40 Rand, which is my average costs. So 50 Rand minus 40 Rand is 10 Rand. That figure times by my quantity, which is, of course, 100 Rand. So it really doesn't matter, Matrix, which method you use, you're going to come out to exactly the same answer. If you choose not to work with numbers and instead you want to work with letters, that's absolutely fine. So let's look at that method. We're going to say our total revenue minus our total cost. So we're going to say our total revenue is this area here, which is 0, P1, E, Q1. And our total costs is that area here, which is O, C, D, Q1. That means that our profit is this area here, which is, of course, C, P1, E, D. So you can see, Matrix, that you have choices here in terms of which method you use and also whether you want to work with numbers or whether you want to work with letters. You should now be able to draw and explain the economic profit position. Thank you very much. 
Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.